Thomas was puffing through Italy. He was taking in the breathtaking beaches and the lovely sea air. Strangely, there wasn't another engine in sight until Thomas passed by an old run-down tunnel. The help! Please help me! Thomas looked at the entrance in silence. He wanted to see what was happening, but Thomas had a feeling that something wasn't right. His boiler ran cold, so without a word, Thomas puffed away. Later that night, Thomas was settling into the sheds with Gina. Hey Gina, do the tunnels usually speak in Italy? Not the ones I know of. How far were you? Only about three miles down from here. Ah, uh, I haven't been that far in a long time. Why haven't you gone out that far? Is it not part of your line? Thomas, look around the shed. Notice anything? Thomas looked around the shed. Him and Gina were the only two engines there. Yo, the only engines here? And why do you presume that is? Were no other Italian steam engines preserved? Oh, Thomas, I do wish that were the case. Well... What happened to the others? There used to be a lot of us here, and we all worked together for a long time, until one day an engine disappeared, then another, then another, until only I was left. Jaina, I'm so sorry to hear that. I miss my dear friends from long ago. Who were they? Oh, two that I remember very well were a tender engine and his coach, Lorenzo and Beppe. Long ago, he was the main passenger engine, and was very popular with guests for his strangely shaped funnels. He looked very fancy. You should have seen him, Thomas. He was a very hard worker. However, he always longed for more and wanted to push the limits of life. Until one day, he ventured too far, and I haven't seen them since. I'm so sorry that happened, Gina. It's alright, Thomas. Already came and went. And with that, Thomas and Gina went to sleep. The next morning, Thomas was up and running again when he passed the same tunnel and heard the noise again. Help! Please! What if that's one of the engines who's gone missing? They could need help, but it could be a trick, and I'll go missing too. Thomas put on a brave face and took a deep breath and rolled inside. Hello? Hello? Thomas squinted. It was very dark in the tunnel and he couldn't see well. The cries for help only seemed to get further away until there was complete silence. Hello? Hello? H who are you? An angel. W what's your name? Satan. What's the matter? That sure is a sorry name for an angel. What fascinations there are on this planet. Strange mortals with curious customs. What do you mean? Life itself. A dream. Nothing exists save empty space and you. And you are but a thought. Please, please help me before it is too late. What's too late? What's going to happen? Thomas shot out of the tunnel and got as far away as he could. Help! Help! A coach needs help! The workmen all looked up in shock and got in their cars to go look at the scene of the accident.
There was an engine here! There's only just a ready old coach here. There's no engine. Well, uh, let's tow it up to the workshop. We can probably do something with it. Thomas coupled up to him and pulled Beppe out of the tunnel. What's your name? Beppe. Where did the big engine go? How did you and the big engine get lost? What happened? Onward, Pepe, to adventure, my little friend! Yippee, adventure! Lorenzo? Where are we? I, uh, I don't know, Pepe. Everywhere looks the same. What if we get lost forever? What if no one remembers to get us? What if- Oh, Beppe! I see a light! We're saved! Thomas pulled into the sheds with Beppe. Gina was very surprised. Beppe, you're okay. Where's Lorenzo? Uh, I, I don't know. Thomas, thank you so much for finding this lost coach. You really are a useful engine. With the finding of this coach, I'll put this railway back in full-time service with Gina as our main engine. Really? I get to go out again? Yes, and Beppe shall be your new coach. <laughs>